Wolf Reich is head of the epigenetics program and associate director of research at the Babraham Institute, where he has been a group leader since 1989. So I was a, uh, a medical student, um, first in Freiburg in Germany and then in Hamburg. And then I did my PhD in, in Hamburg as well um, with Rudolf Janisch, um, who's now in the US actually. And then finishing the PhD, I what I was particularly interested in is to learn more about embryos and, and how they work and how development works. So I went to London, I went to Oxford, I went to Cambridge. I still couldn't decide who I wanted to work with and did another tour, came back, visited again, until I bumped into Azim Sarani in Cambridge. And, and he kind of said to me, well, you know, you could solve the molecular mechanism of this. That's what he said to me. And so I said, OK, it's a deal. <laughs> so then I, I stayed in Cambridge for the postdoc. And then, then I got an independent position. And eventually I moved to, to Babram to set up my own lab here. And when you start your career as a PhD student or a postdoc, you kind of work, firstly, you work in the lab. Um, so you do pipetting, you do, you know, you, you actually do do experiments yourself most of the time. And when you then become a group leader and more senior more senior person, um, you you spend I spend a lot of time talking to people. Those are the things probably I spend most of my time with talking to people in the lab, communicating with the outside world of scientists, increasingly also um, contributing to funding committees, being on scientific advisory boards of other places, other institutes, using my experience to advise people. I had a very nice collaboration with a particular company called Southcentric here in, in Cambridge. I've been part of that little group, trying to help them, collaborating with them, and it's been hugely exciting. Having supervised numerous PhD students, as well as masters and undergraduate internships, he has plenty of sound advice. One, one thing that you need as a science, scientist is an ability to be reflective, to be introspective, to think about things, to be sceptical, to allow yourself time to think about things before you form an opinion about how they work. And so to some and, and those are things that are, those are personality traits. And personality traits are determined by genes, as well as by the epigenome. <laughs> the use of his free time sounds familiar to many parents. At the moment I kind of spend a lot of time being taxi driver for my children, <laughs> teenage children. <laughs> <laughs>